So welcome everyone to the next AME Two Second Lean virtual tour. It's gonna to be very, very cool what we're gonna do. We're gonna learn lots of great stuff today. And we've gone all over the world. We've been to Germany, we've been to Ireland, we've been to Canada. Uh, we've been down to Houston to Valorec for two tours. And now we're gonna to go to County Batteries and we're actually gonna do two tours in the UK at County Batteries. And we'll tell you why, because there are two very important learning segments that we're gonna do. The tour is 30 minutes with some quick Q&A and we are ready to rock and roll. So is everyone ready to go to Nottingham, UK? Very special, special place. If you don't know about Nottingham, Isaac's gonna tell you about that. And Isaac is our host, 20 year old general manager and he's gonna teach us about the Kamishibai board. And this is something from Japan. And I've been going to Japan for 20 years and I didn't know about this. I feel so sad that I didn't know about it, but Isaac is gonna bring us all up to speed on the Kamishi by board and how it can transform your organization. So Isaac, are you ready? Ready. How do you like that? A one minute intro, Isaac, and you're on, go. Okay, thank you. And uh, welcome to the County Battery 2021 AME tour. As Paul said, my name is Isaac. I'm the general manager of County Battery. Uh, when I was 18, I had the pleasure of going to Japan with Paul. I'm two years on now, I'm 20 years old. But just to give you a little bit of background information on what we do at County Battery, we're based in Nottingham in the UK, which if you don't know where that is, that's where Robin Hood's from. And I'm sure you've all heard stories of Robin Hood. And we at County Battery, we distribute and manufacture batteries all over the UK and Ireland. And today you're gonna to come and look around our facility. Now, the first thing I would like to show you is I spin around here. You can see behind us, this looks like some wasteland, which it is at the minute, but we're actually building a new facility here to produce more batteries because um, we're running out of room. But unfortunately, it's not done yet. If the tour was in a few months, I'd be able to take you around that one as well. But for now, we're just going in here today. So let me show you around. So when we first walk through the door, we enter our retail shop. This is where customers can come and buy batteries from everything from the watch on their wrists to their lorries and buses. And trade customers can also come in here and collect batteries and people who order them through our website. And I'll show you a great improvement we made is this wall behind me, just there. That used to be all coated through a solid wall. And we found that people, customers were walking into an empty shop and we didn't like that. So we knocked the wall through and now we have people that sit in there and answer the phones and it's all in one. So the customers are never left unattended. As soon as they walk into the shop, they're greeted because we believe wow. in great customer service. Now, another thing I want to show you, one of the services that we offer is fitment to um, cars. So we put batteries on cars for people and you can see there that we use cars on foam so all of the customers can see how dialed in we are. We're not going to lose any of their parts or any of our own parts. Do the customers so, comment about that, Isaac? Do they comment about how efficient and how good your company is? Not very often. I don't yeah. think many people appreciate the work that goes into making sure we don't lose things. The, the uh, good service is expected. Uh, so, okay. Um, but we walk through here now into the the sales office. So this is where we do things like answer the phone to customers. So if you ring our company, you'll be greeted by one of these lovely smiley faces. And we respond to customers' emails from here, process website orders. And I'm gonna show you a system now called the Kamishi by board, which Paul mentioned earlier. And that's what makes this so easy. And that's why we hope that you will get a great service. So this is the Kamishi by board behind me. This is the first one that you'll see today first of many, and I'll explain what it is. So we have a magnetic board with colored cards on here, and each card has a green side and a red side. And it also has a title of a job um, or a task that needs to be completed. And it has this QR code here, which I'll, I'll explain what that does in a second. So along this top of this board, we have everyone's name that works in this department. And then essentially they have a list of jobs underneath them. And at the start of the day, all of these cards 
will be turned to red. Now, as when the employees come to work, they walk up to this board, see the jobs that are on red, which means they need completing. They scan the QR code that tells them how to do the job if they don't already know. And then they can go away, complete the job, come back, flick it to green, and then they can move on to the next one. And we also see here, we've got daily jobs and weekly jobs. Now, this is a really useful tool, not just for the day-to-day -day keeping on track and focus, but when we're training people, when we have a new employee, we believe that they have three things that they don't know when they start the company. So they have, what do I do? Well, you know what you do. You walk up to the board, it's all in one place. Well, when do I do it? Well, I do them right to left, sorry, left to right, top to bottom, and I do my daily jobs and then my weekly jobs. And then how do I do it? Well, we learned this off Ryan at Seaton Matters. The answer to the question should be where it's asked. So it's on the card with the job that tells you how to do it. Now, as someone that trains people, this makes my life so easy because I don't have to keep answering those questions whenever we get a new member of staff because I get bored of answering those kind of questions. So these are up on here and the most basic jobs, the running of the department is all in one place for our employees. Isaac, yeah? why, why is it important that the leaders are not constantly answering those questions over and over again? What is it that the leadership should be doing and everyone should be doing? We should be focusing on developing the company and growing the business. So we don't want to, keep answering the same questions. We're making a two second saving here by making these boards and a million second saving because we don't have to keep saying the same thing over and over again. That's non-value added when we could have an automatic system here that does it for us. So the, the Kamishi by board allows you to focus on the most important work instead of repeating things or over-processing, which most companies go through. It eliminates all that over-processing. Correct. Wow, excellent. Okay, and going back to having standard works readily available so we don't need to be answering questions. On the Kamishi by board, those are jobs that need to be completed every day. Um, but there's also a lot of jobs that will come up that might not be required every day, but you still have to deal with these kind of things, these kind of inquiries. So we have next to me here, in this cabinet and the original purpose of this was for the people that work in this office they can come and put their personal items inside these tubs so if they have food or anything like that change of clothes they can put that in there and it keeps it off the desk and out of the way and the people in here decided that they needed to put do more than just a community by board for the ad hoc jobs that they come across so they created, they call it a sales wall of glory, even though it might be a cabinet of glory. And this has jobs on it with QR codes. So anyone can come up to this and scan them. And these are jobs from, so this section here is all about our order processing system. We have here how to organize uh, scrap battery collections from our customers. If I spin this round here, you can see we've got things about returns, direct deliveries from customers, SagePay, which is our payment processing system. And it's on wheels. So this can be wheeled over to anyone's desk. They don't know how to do a job. They can scan the QR code and complete the job. So Isaac, you have removed all ambiguity because your focus is on making sure everyone knows what to do, uh, how to do it, and when to do it correct those, are the, to do those it. are the three things yep. when to do it what Phenomenal. do i do when do i do it and how do i do it excellent wow okay can you explain so, just a little bit because people well, want to know the kamishi by board where does the concept come from i don't think you told us where the concept comes from in japan i don't think i did no so the kamishi by board kamishi by company story and they used to do it, they were doing it on the streets um, after the war and it was, it was during the depression. I think they did it to uplift people and it's where someone would tell stories using visual cards. So 
carry that through to what we're using it for here, it's to show the story of your day. It's to show what needs to happen. And, and it's live. It's updating our progressing our day. Okay, so interesting, Isaac. You said something that I didn't know, and that is you think they used it to uplift people during the Depression. And I think it's very interesting because it really has an uplifting effect in an organization when people are clear and there's no ambiguity on how to, how to do work. I think it has a similar effect. Okay, so what I'm going to show you now, I just walked through this corridor into our main production room. Uh, this will all be moved over into that new factory I was speaking about, but this is what we've got to use for now. Um, you can see behind me, Mark and Andy are working on the production line for these batteries that go inside an electric bike. And this is the first kind of original equipment um, production line that we've had before everything has become coming kind of bespoke and we've had to work things out. So we're grateful for this line because we get to make the same thing over and over again. So when we save two seconds, if we make 25 batteries a day, we've actually saved 50 seconds. Whereas over at our other side of the room, which I'll show you now, and I'll actually show you one of these batteries in just a second, but we have all these different batteries coming in. Um, and what we do on this side is a refurbishment service where we will take an electric bike battery we open it up and we put new cells inside and I'll show you one, I've got one behind me here. So this is what it would look like just before it goes back into the case. And we dispose of the old cells and put that in. We've been doing that for a long time, um, but we find that everything's very different and it becomes hard to kind of create standard works um, for this kind of thing. So we're very grateful for this production line and I'll show you one of these batteries now. Can you just pass me one of those? The Starley batteries. But thank you. So that there is the battery pack and it actually goes in the seat tube of the bike. So we'll have someone sat on our battery as they ride their electric bike around town. Okay. So one thing we have done over this side, I was telling you it's hard to create a standard work. One thing that Mark's done is he spent a lot of time trying to replace himself so he can focus on growing the department by creating documents and standard works of the batteries that do come in. Um, but there's probably over 200, 300 different products and working through them and making a process for each one is a real large amount of work. So hats off to Mark for doing that, well done. Mm. And that's back to replacing yourself. We, we, we really believe strongly in replace yourself in this company. So then you can move on and develop your department because you don't have to do the day-to-day -day fighting fires and struggling through. Oh. So we're still in the production room and I'm gonna show you, you can see behind me, this is where we have the morning meeting and all of the staff, the employees, the team, they all stand around in the production room so we have it right in the middle of the factory. We have it on this screen here. I'm going to show you one great improvement that we made. So for anyone that has a morning meeting, I'm sure that you have a place to bring up issues, opportunities for improvement. Um, but what we found was by the time people would get to the next day, they'd be forgetting what their improvement was or what their issue was. So we came up with this system here where we put, cards like that we call this an improvement card we stole this off seating matters and if anyone has an issue that they want to discuss in the meeting they can bring this forward pick one of these cards out of here write it on and then we can discuss as a group what the problem is um, and come up with a solution that will fix the root cause the main thing that's causing the problem once we think we've found an appropriate solution we then go away and we write it on this card. We stick it on somebody's face here. So we've got all the people in the company behind me there. And we have these sections to do in progress and completed. So it's a task management system for making improvements that have come out of our discussions in the morning meeting.
but it is not necessary to do that. They can just stop and make an improvement if they want, correct? Absolutely. Anyone can stop and make an improvement. This is just for stuff that someone might want to discuss something if they can't think of a solution. They will bring it to the morning meeting, discuss it, and then it's assigned because it might be someone in production is getting an issue from something that's happening over in sales. So someone in sales would action that and then bring that through to production. Yeah, I can't imagine, Isaac, what your company looked like two years ago before you started doing Two Second Lean. I, I would just imagine it was, uh, I, I don't know, what was it like? Well, well, this production space here wasn't actually production space because we weren't really making anything. We had one tiny room upstairs, which we now make outbound sales calls from to ring in new customers and try and get their business. Um, so this was a completely cluttered sales office it had more tables than a production room in and we're making wow. batteries in here now wow. so it was a complete Amazing. mess there was paper everywhere filing cabinets so quite dirty. a transformation yes definitely okay. and i think that that transformation comes from all the employees and all the people that we've got here because it's been such a team thing um and one of the things that we do in the morning meeting which i think has helped that so we have this board here behind me and it's got lists of things on here that we say every day, almost like a mantra. So we remember and it's always fresh in our head and it's things that we think are essential to the culture here at County Battery. Go so, over them, flip the camera around. I, I want you to I want you flip to it around. Go ahead. Yeah, flip it around. I want people to see this because it's very cool. Okay, so right at the top here, we have the vision statement, which is to make the world a better place by developing people. Because we think every improvement that we make makes the world a slightly better place. And if we can get people making improvements, then that's passing on. It's compound interest. Everyone's making improvements. The world's getting better. Awesome. Then we come down, zoom out a little bit, and we have our mission statement, which is to provide quality batteries and associated products with expert knowledge, advice, and excellent customer service. And that's what we believe in. So we say that every day because this is what we're going to do to exist as a business. Oh, is batteries. Yeah. We don't stray from batteries. We don't start selling light bulbs. We don't sell window wipers. We sell one <laughs> thing. We have a focus. Good. Good. Okay. I move down to our principles. So we have the first one, which is happy. Because if we, we think if you're not happy in your job, then you should go find a different one. We have expertise, versatility, corporate social responsibility, honesty and trust, customer service, continual improvement, and teamwork. And we say all of these every day, Paul. Wow. Then we've got the three pillars of lean. I'll let you do these, Paul. Uh, I try to read them. So know, know, uh, know the eight deadly ways. Awesome. And then continuously improve everything every day by just two seconds, if you will, and take pictures and make videos of your improvements and you have savings. And I love it. And it's that simple. It is that simple. Great job. You Isaac. never had to read them, did you? Uh, well, I thought you, you wrote know, the book. I'm, 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 I'm 61 years old. I can't remember what I did yesterday. Uh, you should know these by now. Yeah, I think I should, shouldn't I? So then, and then we've the got the... Three S's, so sweep, sort, standardize. We have what is a two second saving? Well, it's an amendment to a current process because everything that we do is a process to make it more efficient. And then if I come out here, we've got the eight deadly wastes, which are overproduction, transportation, excess inventory, defect, nice overprocessing. Sorry. Nice job. And so you basically, this oh, is what you sorry. instill in your people every day. Yeah. Excess okay. motion, custom okay. waiting, so, unused employees. So Isaac, we have, te we have 10 minutes left. We got to rock and roll. Okay. And with this as well, we, um, we don't employ anyone. They have a three month probationary period. And we, if they don't know these things, then they don't get a job here. Incredible. Okay. So, this here is our 3S rotor behind me. And we're in groups of people of kind of where we are in the company because we're going to 3S the location that we're in because we have to be in that area. And we also have another Kamishi by board here, similar to the one next door with jobs that need doing, cleaning, what needs doing, 
you do it top to bottom, what order, and it also tells you how to do it. So wow. and from, from my point of view, you can tell that all of the, things, all of the cleaning's been done up to date. So That's it's incredible. really easy to make sure everyone else is on track. Incredible. Makes management very easy. Right, very quickly, we, uh, yesterday, this looked different, didn't it, this kitchen? We've had a yeah. new kitchen fitted yesterday. Um, and what I will do is just quickly, I'll show you a lean cup of tea because we are an English company. We're from England and we do like a cup of tea, even though it may not have made it over to the colonies yet. Not quite <laughs> got the refined palate for a cup of tea. So it's one piece flow. So we've got the mugs here. Tea's just there. Sugar and coffee in dispensers with a refill line when it gets low. And then, of course, we have the boiling tap, not waiting for any kettles to boil. So even our cups of tea in England, we make them leave. I walk through here now into our warehouse. So this is where we keep most of our stock. And that can be anything from a battery this small that might go in your watch to truck batteries, lorry batteries that take two people to lift. And we dispatch them from all the way over here. And I might have to go and show you what Nathan does as well. Yeah, this let's is really see cool. And, and let's see Nathan's improvement too, because Nathan's amazing. Nathan is autistic and he has really done a great job of implementing two second lean. And, and Richard is always sending me videos of everything he's doing. It's great. So I'll show you as well. We do actually have our own brand of battery. So we take batteries in here. We label them up as fuller because we don't want to sell other people's things. We want to sell our own. And this is another brand here that Nathan makes. So what we do is because lead has a value, we buy in scrap batteries. And what Nathan does, he goes through these big tubs of scrap batteries and tests them uh, because sometimes people throw batteries away when they're still okay. And we called this brand uh, Lazarus because Lazarus was brought back from the dead. And that's what Nathan does with these batteries. So he brings them into this room here. And I'll show you this wall of testers, which is behind me now. So he puts them onto these big testers. So he, he charged them all the way up and then he gives them a test if they're okay. He then takes them over, cleans them up, and he sticks a label on them with Lazarus written on it. We've got one here. I'll just show you. And that's our Lazarus label. Is that is that Nathan that just walked by? We have him show us his improvements on the battery on the battery size. Is he there? Uh, he, he is, but he'll need my headset. Um, okay. Well, you can show it and you can explain it. Stand really close to him. Yeah. Nathan. Well, does it say here, Chris? Can we see your improvement of your battery measure? Yeah. yeah. Just stand really close to him. Right. Have him explain. Yeah, it. well. it's, really, it's really cool what he's done. And Nathan has just okay. done an awesome job. Come, on, come and stand here, look, and talk about this, what you've done. Um, Show it. Put a battery up there. Show it. Put a battery on it, Nathan. Eh? Yeah, so batteries have different codes. Yeah. So you need length, width, and height. Show them how it works. Grab a battery off the back there. Yeah. And show them, show them how you find out the length, width, and height of a battery. Um, so what were you using before to measure? Uh, tape measure. Tape measure before. And Hang on, let me flip this camera and show you. Okay. Um, if you don't go high, it should be around um, one one seventy five. That that we that we can use here. But that start of me length and length. In, in the, the area. So that's what yeah. Okay. So you're gonna have to so, tell because we can't we can't hear him well. So, so I you, hear him. So, you, you so, that you say what he's saying. Okay. So what he's saying, he's got this sheet here with the battery codes on it. 
to help him identify these batteries because they don't have labels on very often. He uses the measurements because they're in a standard box size. So instead of using a tape measure to speed that up, he uses this corner, which has length measurements here, height measurements here, and width here. So he just puts the battery, lines it up with the corner, and he can get length, height, and width, and then match that up so he can tell what a battery is and what it needs to be tested at just from the size of it. Wow. There he is. Okay, very good. Great job, Nathan. You're awesome. Well done, Nathan. Okay. I want, I, I want to make it, you have four minutes. I want to make it to the accounting department because I want to see how you do the accounting. If, if we can run up there real quick. We only have four yep. minutes and I think it's incredible because this is something that Isaac did in the accounting department. He took that over and he leaned it out. And this is something that is always a mystery and you know you have to have a specialist and everything. And he removed all that from their system and it's absolutely incredible using the Kamishi by board, correct? So, yep, that's right. We do have one in the warehouse as well. So the employees in the warehouse know kind of the so same thing. What do I do? Big time lean in the office. People always say, how do you do lean in the office? How about lean in accounting? This is the best job I've ever seen right here. Okay, so Three let me minutes. go for it. So behind, behind me here, this is the accounting corner, if you like. We've got Molly here working in accounts. And her process, as you can see, we started off with this board. So when I first was doing accounts, I was being trained by someone who left. And then we just decided, even though I didn't really know, we'd have a go anyway. And those three questions is what I was asking the most, is what do I do? When do I do it? How do I do it? And I got this whiteboard right next to my desk. So I created this and started writing down the things that needed to be done and when they needed to be done. I start with the daily at the top and I did an arrow so you could see from left to right, this is how the jobs need completing. And these all have QR codes on them as well. And then we moved on, did it for the weekly jobs and did it from the monthly jobs. And this is everything from responding to emails. We've got generating invoices, uh, calling up debtors, chasing people for money. Um, and we, we've even got things like end of month procedures. So when we need to start um, getting ready to work out how much money we've made in a month, we can put that on the board. We know exactly when it needs to start. And then that's over on this bigger board here. So we've literally got every single job you need to do onto a card and in this community by board system. And it's right next to your station. So you come in, you sit down, you turn to your left, you start on emails and you, you just go through your day. And, and you know, from I, my I, point I, of view- I, I gotta think, Isaac, that you gotta feel at the end of the day, so satisfied to have all those cards flipped over in green. That just must yep. make you feel good. Yep, and, and it's, it's, we have on here, so we have a time as well. So we track when did we finish the daily task? and how fast, so you can see, was I faster today, was I faster yesterday? And um, this made the job so much easier. First of all, you have a standard way of doing things. Then you improve upon the standard of doing things. And we took this job from taking five days a week to three days a week through creating a standard, getting it up on the board, and then making improvements to it. And, and Molly's made loads of improvements to what I've done. It definitely looks a lot neater than when I first put it up, but um, wow. yeah, wow. a lot, of, and, and, a lot of good, a lot of good, a lot of good comments here too, Nathan, on the chat. But keep going. So you have one minute. The, the other thing now, I manage Molly, and it's really easy for me to just poke my head through this door because I'm not normally in here and see exactly where we are, how far are we from month end? Is she on track with daily jobs, monthly jobs, weekly jobs? So it just makes life for your manager easy because he's not answering. What do I do? When do I do? How do I do it? Okay. He knows where you are with progress and he's replaced himself because I don't have to answer any of those questions. Okay. So we are at 30 minutes. Isaac, you did a great job. I just announcing publicly to the world right now that 
Isaac is available for blood transfusions. I know everybody wants his blood. <laughs> they want to put it into young people around the world so they can pull their head out of their rear end and start thinking like an adult, like Isaac is. So uh, Isaac, you can get to Isaac offline and he'll make his blood available for people. So we can start Thank thinking you. at a different level because I tell you, this is insane what he has done at 20 years old. Could you imagine if we had every 20 year old thinking like this, it would be the world would be a different place overnight. Incredible. So we're going to stop at this point, uh, Isaac, and we're going to go into a Q&A. So uh, am I right, Laura? We're going to go to uh, Q&A? Yep. OK. Yep. So let's see um, questions here. I have a great set of eight ways posters. OK. I, any questions right now? I'm doing both of these. Normally, Richard does this for me. And so I'm a little slow. Are any questions? What are the pegboards for? What are the pegboards for? So that's one question. More questions. Start typing them in right now. The pegboards. I don't remember where there was pegboards. Isaac, you have a question. It says, can we see what happens when someone scans one of those QR codes? Sorry, can, can you see what happens I, when we scan I, the QR I, code? Yeah, I can answer that. Basically, it's either going to bring up a, a process sheet or a video. Is that correct, Isaac? When you yeah. can't scan a QR code. Yeah, when we scan it, yeah, it brings up a... a so these ones in accounts have a, a process which is stored on Dropbox, an eight-step process, and it has a link to a video on top. And you can either click the video and watch that, or you can read through the process. Yeah, somebody said, how about every 20 year old, 30 year old, 40 year old, 50 year old, 60 year old, 70 year old thinking like this? Isn't that the truth? Holy mackerel. Yeah, and remember everyone, you do not need a scanning program to scan these QR codes. Simply the phone app on your iPhone or Android in the phone, in the photo mode will can scan it and bring up the, the link. Okay, Isaac, what is your company story? Why did you do a battery building company? There is a big company that exists already you need to fix what bugs you. Okay, so why why county batteries? Real quick, why did you guys so have that business start? My my granddad started the business in 1974. He used to sell tires and batteries, and then he moved to just selling batteries. And it started out of my great grandma's garage, and oh, it moved really? to a small shop in uh, in Nottingham. And then Richard, who's just through there, I don't know if you saw him. Most of you might know him from wearing a bow tie. Yeah. Uh, um, he started working there at a young age, 13, same as me. And he took it and grew it into this, what it is now. And I sort of think it's my job to carry it on. Take to, yeah, to take to the next level. So people are asking, uh, are the QR codes linked to white papers or videos? Both, it just depends upon what's appropriate okay. for the QR code. Okay, and then what happens if a task is left red? So you go to the end of the day and you got a task red, what happens? You get sacked. You get sacked. That's what we say <laughs> in England, you get sacked. <laughs> no, we, we find out why. So that's an issue is in any job not being done. Why is it not being done? Is it the person's not got enough time? Are they struggling with the process? Do they not know what the quest, do they not know what the answers are? So yeah, we, we look ah, at why so, and then we make improvements. Wow, so that's excellent. So the red indicates that maybe you have a problem with the process that needs to be worked on or maybe somebody's not trained or something, something's wrong. Wow, that's a great, yeah. great point. I like it. Okay, question. Are, how have you managed to earn the respect of employees who are years older than you in order to implement this system? This has got to be a good answer. How have you gotten um, people with more years of experience to accept lean? Oh, this is a good question. Um, I think not everyone did accept lean, um, but those people don't really work here anymore. So everyone that works here now accepts lean. We're going to change the people or we're going to change the people. Now, what about people respecting you? You're so young, you know, that, that's a very difficult thing. Why, how did you get people, earn people's respect? Um, we have a very young team here anyway. And I think that everyone respects each other equally. Um, yeah, but I've Isaac, always, I, I know your team. You're, you're the youngest one. There's nobody. I mean, there's a couple um, people. That no, are we have young There's only a couple. There's a couple. There's only a couple, right? Yeah. So yeah. how do you get the older people to respect you? Why do you think that happens? Um, I don't know. Maybe because I'm the boss's son. They just kind of do what you say. Um, I think there's definitely an element of that. Um, maybe it's by uh, implementing systems and taking the job seriously. 
Um, uh, I don't yeah, know. I've never go. really had an I, issue I, with. I, I believe that because you're a very serious person. You have great humor, but you're actually a very serious person. You, you're not. You're not. You're not the typical teenager or, or twenty year old that's that's flippant and casual about life. You're very deliberate. Yeah, maybe. And I've I never had an issue with it. I've never had yeah, to think I, about I, it. I, I believe that transcends age. When you're serious and you're not flippant about things, I don't think people care about age. I don't think people care about the color of your skin. I don't think people care about your age. I don't think care, people care whether you're a man or a woman. When you're serious and you get the work done, people pay attention, period. Yeah. I think this is a, a, a great testament to it. So uh, another question was, where do you, how, uh, as a fellow traveler to Japan with Paul, how did you find out about Paul and end up in Japan? How did you end up in Japan? How did you find out about me? Curious. So what happened, um, Richard, my dad, he was having dinner with his bank manager, or not his bank manager, but a bank manager. He was someone else's bank manager, which was Ashley Bailey at uh, ah. Find Easy. Okay. And the bank manager was um, telling my dad about how one of his clients had read this book and doubled his profit. And then in the next year, he put 75% on top of that. And my dad said, have you read the book? And the bank manager (laughs) said, no, I've not read it. And he said, could I have a copy? And that's how we got into it. How interesting. Wow. Isn't that great? Uh, easy to get respect when it is given. Isaac seems very respectful. I agree with that completely. How much time do you spend on the shop floor on the Gemba, Isaac? I don't have a desk. You don't have a desk. So you're always there. You're always no, I'm always around. there. Yeah. You're always walking around. Awesome. You're, you're amazing. Uh, let's see. Is a filler okay? Uh, done. Any other questions? I think we pretty much, Laura, do you see any other questions we haven't answered? Okay, and the best thing about this is only 1037, so we, we managed the Q&A in seven minutes, which is phenomenal. We beat our target, and we got through the tour in 10 minutes. Let's see. I don't. Uh, I think we're pretty good. So we're going to do a quick feedback real quick. Everyone take the survey. It'll only take about 60 seconds. Quickly fill this out. Let us know how we're doing so we can continually improve, and we get the essence of whether or not we're on the right track. And as you're doing that, I just want to tell you, Next week, what Isaac is going to share with you, in my opinion, is going to blow you away because I've never seen it done in any company in the world. And this is powerful learning about happiness and how they make sure their employees are happy. They work directly with them on multiple categories and are continually evaluating them on a monthly basis. It's unbelievable what they've implemented here. And I think everyone's gonna really dig it. So make sure you come next week. And are we ready to shut the tour down? Uh, Laura, what do you think? We still wait for a few more people. Um, there good. we go. So we're, we're at uh, 95%. Uh, would you recommend the tour? High level there. And then have you been inspired? Yeah, 100%. Wow, that's awesome. Okay, and when there's one more question, isn't there, Laura? And did you find today's tour valuable? Yes, wow. Isaac, awesome job. Your team, make sure you tell everyone in your team, Isaac, you, you hit it out of the yep. park. Lots of hard work. We all worked hard to put this on and I'm, I'm blown away. And I learned so much from you. A 20 year old, I'm 61 years old and you rock my world. You taught me so much. So let's continue on, Laura. And so our next tour, so everyone knows, is going to be back September 1st. We're going to go back to County Battery and we're going to learn some great stuff, part two, with Isaac and his team. And then let's continue on here, Laura, next slide. And then this is very exciting. AME Everywhere International Virtual Conference 2021 in Canada, but it's going to be virtual. And it's going to be the 18th to the 21st. I'm going to be speaking on the 19th, and we're going to do a virtual tour of FastCap. Adam is going to be leading that tour. It should be incredible. And you should see a window into what FastCap is doing and thinking and what's the latest and the greatest. How we develop products is what, what we're going to be talking about and showing you, which is very interesting because we have like 800 products. So it should be a great time. And I think Laura, Kim, are you going to take it away from here? And somebody's got their mic on. So make sure your mics are off. Okay, Kim? Yeah. So thank you, County Battery. And what a great job, Isaac. You, Nathan, and your company are amazing. And of course, thank you, Paul, for facilitating this informative two second lean tours. Make sure you do sign up for the AME International Virtual Conference. The first 100 people that sign up 
and use VIP Paul will get an autographed signed book from Paul. So thanks again. We look forward to seeing you all at the AME International Conference. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you, Kim. Thank you, everyone. We'll see you on the first. Thanks for participating.